What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. Yo, 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 what's good, YT? It's your boy Bugs back. And guys, today we are going over the market just a little bit. This video is going to be quick because honestly, the market is just all over the place. We're going to give you a quick overview. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub, comment down below. It would be appreciated, man. Um, Tomorrow, there is a possible market crash coming. People are saying it's idols. If it is idols, the market will not crash. Um, so I'm just gonna start off with that and also if you need MT hit me up I am buying and selling MT on Instagram and Twitter hit me up if you need um, But anyways, um, let's go over some stuff. All right um, Let's just go over the market man. There's just not that much to go over right now The market's just like still down. It's still down still down. I'm gonna explain to you why it's still down It's honestly Because of this. All right, I'm gonna show you so I guess 2K started to notice that VC sales were kind of down. So they did a tactical thing and did a 10% off thing. 10% off is pretty much the taxes. So I've noticed one thing, more stuff is getting pulled. It almost feels like they literally made the odds better. And not only that, they made it 10% off. So maybe more people are buying VC. Like, dude, 10% off is nothing. You're still going to pay a full hundred dollars for that 450K VC versus like 109 okay so don't get fooled by the sale i just want to start that off this is literally a scheme it's a pretty good scheme they're they're a great mark they, they make money all right but i also been noticing a lot of people have been quitting this game and it's honestly because of the fact that if you're not spending money it's so hard to keep up it's so hard to keep up the grinding is just not worth it it's just not worth it i don't care what you say you could grind all day you can grind all day if you're not spending money like okay the difference is if you're not spending money you're gonna have to grind the market you're not grinding solos you're not grinding anything else the market is where you start all right and in this video i'm gonna pretty much show you how to make mt off the market right now right now though it's gonna be hard there's usually three days or two days a week where i grind the market the hardest it's gonna be fridays like thursdays wednesdays mondays sundays are just not the time to grind it's just a waste of your time. There's going to be more action on the day's packs drop. So for instance, Tuesdays, when super packs drop, is going to be your biggest profit margin. And why is that? It's literally simply because of what they release. It depends what they release. If they release 100 pink diamonds, the pink diamonds are going to drop and they're going to rise again the following week. That's just how it's been for a very long time. That's how I've been making my MT. That's how I have so much MT. Um, but also... Honestly, if you're making all this MT, you have to put it back in. You got to go right back to the Amethyst and just snipe out Amethyst. Your profits will just continuously rise. All right. Um, this Patrick queuing for 1K is cool and all, but he's in the double take set, which is now no longer good because of one thing, because they're in the store or they're in single potential threat. And now Quantum Pack. So now you're going to see a lot of Quantum players and Flash 7 players pull up on the amethyst end so these cross spheres all those investments that we used to have are now gone but you know those are a while ago i told you guys to invest in him like months ago he's gonna continuously drop so these cards are now at so double take quantum and flash seven are the cards you do not want to invest in any other card that pops up you're going to want to invest in also nba 21s are not the cards you want to invest in and also in this video we're going to talk about is there going to be a market crash is there going to be a market crash depends what they drop if they drop a 15,000 MT or a 17,000 MT guarantee pack, there's going to be a biggest market crash. But right now, guys, the market is still crashed. The market has not went up at all. The market is still down bad. It's going to be very, very hard to recover. People are going to ask me, should I sell this card? Should I buy this card? Should I sell this card? Well, I'm here to tell you, if you ask that in the comments, I will simply not answer you, okay? You should... It all depends what you want to do. So here's what you want to do, all right? Let's get up and talk about this if you want to sell your cards and you want to try to make mt you want to take the risk of making mt it's honestly not a good time to sell any cards in my opinion i think now is a very bad time to sell cards the market's crashed but then again we're getting closer and closer to end game guys 2k22 is what one two three four four five months five months away about four months away 
it's gonna come a lot quicker than you think it feels like this game just came out i'm not a fan of 2k21 this game is terrible but i'm here to make mt i'm here to make market guru methods right now it's not a good time to sell but if you want to sell and you want to regroup your team tomorrow and think you're going to get a better price to be honest it's probably not going to happen i think the market's so down because it's just prematurely crashed it's been crashed the whole week it hasn't regrouped next week is probably or sunday is probably going to be the best day to sell today probably not it's just not gonna be a good day to sell so now looking at it what are the good snipe filters guys the snipe filters are gone unless you have enabled filters there's really no good snipe filters unless you have like a million t to enable cards out um the opal filters ruined there's no really expensive opals but the dark matters on the other hand the dark matters are up there um there's also another snipe filter that is pretty interesting in my opinion and it's kevin durant opal why is this because honestly I honestly missed one Kevin Durant the other day on this filter. I sat on it for one minute, and this filter is kind of slept on. I know there's only two cards on it, but it's honestly the only filter I can think of right now, man. Dark Matter filter, Amethyst Cheapest. Those are going to be your best filters. Pink Diamond Cheapest is kind of ruined, but uh, Dark Matter. If you get a Dark Matter snipe, you're in, the, you're in the go, man. Also, I heard that sniping is better on current gen. Honestly, I can confirm that um stuff pops up way faster on current gen than next gen next gen is so down bad this year's 2k is just so down bad in general um but yeah right now man minimum dark matter is probably going to be your best bet we also have the galaxy opal cheapest which is eh, depending on what let's see let's see what rondo's at i'm kind of curious put your maximum buyout so i don't know 47 so rondo is at all right yeah so if you invested in rondo that was a pretty good investment not gonna lie he was at 39 40k 47 48k that's pretty fire you can make 5k each that sounds pretty good to me but yo other than that man that's really all we got for this video there's not that much to talk about i just think the market is gonna crash even harder but right now it's a pretty bad crash if you want to invest now now's not a bad time to do so but um, honestly, that's really all we got for the vid. I just want to see one thing. I didn't even check out this Magic Johnson. He's so cheap. He's pretty filthy. But yo, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content, boys. Have a good one. Peace.